Did you know that in the Bible it says the man makes the coffee in the morning? No, I didn't. Yeah. He brews. Ah! <laughs> coffee mug is a nice tool for today. Uh, it's sturdy. We don't want something breakable. Two great options I have presented for you. The coffee mug, the plastic solo, which we love because it's America. And apparently solo cups are a thing. Anyway, I'm choosing coffee mug because uh, it makes me feel real festive, you know? Real, uh, there's a placebo going on. There's no caffeine in this cup. But somehow, <sighs> rich Colombian beans fill my senses. So uh, yeah, think about that and really take it to heart and integrate it into your day-to-day -day philosophy. Mike, what's up? Bree, what's up? Jacob's in the house. Nasi, welcome back. It's going to be uh, a steady state, and I mean that literally and figuratively, because we're going to just keep working and keep working and keep working. Kind of like the hit we had two days ago, number 73. Kind of like yesterday, Bionic Grip, steady state. And you're going to stay steady. And you're going to be in the steady state. And your heart rate will have the state of steadiness. You know the rest. One of those old gems. Because we're going to be on the knees a little bit. We're going to be on the seat a little bit. We're going to be riding the boat a little bit. And it uh, looks like we got some connection situations. So please excuse the interruption. I appreciate your understanding. Soft floor. Non-breakable cup of choice. Fill that boy all the way to the top. And if you're trying to get saucy, saucy, like, you know, it's like it's right there. It's right. Can you see that meniscus? Is yours pretty full? Oh yeah. Okay. It's not about the weight. It's about the stability that this thing will force us to have. So don't worry about getting a big mug or big. You know, it can be the, the tiniest. Actually, that might be even more difficult. A little shot glass or a little, little tea espresso situation. And it's espresso, not espresso, by the way. However, if you make it fast, it could be express. Oh, I don't know. I heard that was a, a debate of sorts, the spelling. Anyway, we ready to go? You trying to get wild? Hopefully not wet and wild, because that means you spilled. Keep it dry. Let's get it. Right off the bat, put the cup in your hands. And we're doing as much of this workout as possible with this thing with us. Uh, so get used to it. Cup is your friend. Timer begins. And. First move is simple. We're going to sit with our legs out straight, a la hamstring stretch. And regardless of how flexible you are or where you're at in your day, we're going to sit up all the way to relieve the stretch, bringing the cup to our chin. And I want a chin tap. Actually make contact there. Don't take a sip, but smell that Colombian coffee. Oh, yes. Now I'm reaching, extending my arms, letting my shoulder blades roll forward, get a back stretch. And I'm tapping something on my body to mark how far I can get with this hamstring stretch. See me from the side. Hopefully I can tap the toes. And there it is. I'm tapping the toes. I'm coming up to relieve the hamstring stretch, sticking the chest out, activating the back muscles, tapping the chin. Reach forward, get the hamstring stretchy, tap the shoes, or Somewhere in front of you, shin, kneecap, whatever feels like a stretch, that's what it's going to be. Make sure you can see your screen because when the minute of that is over, actually it's a minute and four seconds because why the hell not? 
Why does 60 seconds make sense? Riddle me this. Huh? So we're going to do 64 seconds. Starting in 5, 4, 3, 2. You heard the bell. Let's go. Your pace, constantly stretching the back side of the body, between the shoulder blades, the hamstrings as well. Flexing the quads straight, bringing the toes up. If you can tap the shoes too, maybe go beyond. Come up, push the chest out, tap the chin. And right away we're learning how this thing reacts. The stability equation involved. Oh, a pretty tight throw. Our last hit, Adam, I don't know how you feel. I'm always tight. Ooh! <sighs> Those hamster rings. Good. Now, you're going to try to do this without putting your cup down, but if you have to, so be it. We're going to go to the knees somehow. Have a little bit of fun with that. Maybe you've already spilled, maybe not. And now we go for the genie leg extension, a quad extension. My hips are planked. I keep this straight line. And I'm maybe reaching forward to counterweight. I've seen how low I can go. And I come back up. And you should immediately feel the front side of the thighs, the quads, or quads as they're pronounced more appropriately in the medical literature. Quads, yes. K-W-A-A-D-Z. Quads. You can Wikipedia that. If you haven't come near spill already, consider putting a little extra water. I might have to. Great. Without putting your cup down, back to that hamstring and rhomboid stretch. Get the style. And of course, those transitions are inherently challenging on their own. Proceed with care. I'm not going to put that extra water in until this little warm up sequence is over. So, in place of extra water for more challenge, I'm going to see how quickly I can do these repetitions without making too many waves. Lisa. Some more. Ooh. Oh, oh. Got me. Nice. Okay, we got our first spill. That's a good sign. And we've got enough water. Good. Get to the knees. Start genieing. Yeah. We're going to plank the hips, get them forward. the knees, a lot of quad tension, a lot of demand on those knee joints. So if you'd like, you know, just do a little tiny one. Just do a little bend. You don't need to go way low. <sighs> Ten seconds, and we're back to the hamstring stretch. Pushing as far as we can go with the reach. 
Big chest here. Five seconds remain. Go back to those jeans. Teeny weeny jean. Let's get them. Go as low as you can handle. Serving at holy water. Hebrews. Twenty nine seconds. Starting to feel the quad action. Very nice. Just barely heating up. Five seconds, let's get one more clean rep. Find a way. Chin tap with a big chest. Reach forward, tap something in front of you for the posterior stretch. Spill, that's great. If not yet, we will. Or we're going to have to add more water. <sighs> Smell those coffee beans. Roasted. Rich. Full body. Notes of cherry. The genie! Some new ones. Let me set that timer up. Because we're going to work for a while. I don't know why I'm talking like this. Um, How many minutes? 
21? Well, we actually can't do that. It has to be an even number. 22? It's a. Is it 22? Pew, pew, pew. All right, 22 it is. So what's half of that? 11? Yeah, yeah. 22, not see. <laughs> hey, there it is. There's a consensus. 2-2. Two, two. It's a nice number. It's kind of cute, actually. Okay. So, here we are. That amounts to uh, 23 minutes and 33 seconds with a five-second countdown. I will narrate the moves as we go. There's no rush to get to them. So we'll figure it out in the midst. You feel me? First, very, very simple. We touch the ground with the cup, two hands on the cup. We come back up, tap it to the chin once more. You feel me? Simple. This could look like a squat. This could look like a deadlift. Whatever way you want to get it done. Adam, will you show us a couple examples, sir, please? Very nice, that frogger style squat with the flat feet. That's wonderful. I prefer the feet to be flat, but if that's not possible for you, don't worry. Just get it done. Conventional deadlift style with the feet together, plie like. Lovely, lovely. Now we're going sumo, it looks. You know the drill. Let's do it. Starting in five, four, <laughs> three, two, oh, begin. Tapping the floor. Oh, yeah, I'm spilling this for sure. Oh, there it is. Just picking it up. Do you hear the pedal pedal? I keep trying to, like, hit the floor, stand up. I'm standing moving forward. Let me if I can look at it. Hit the chin. I've got a pool on my mat at this point. All the way lock the knees at the top, full extension. Could be a squat, could be a dead, whatever. Five seconds, we move on. Now we're sitting to the floor. Maybe you're going to need a hand on the ground, but ideally you do it with no hands. We're going to figure that one out for your own. You can watch us for a couple examples, but the timer is on. Sit all the way down, put the butt on the floor, get yourself back up to standing. That's just a constant drip to the floor right now. It's just dribbles. Dribble, dribble. Full sit, one on the floor. Oh my gosh. Waiter, there's a hair in my soup. I got a couple weird particulates in there. I think I give you a fruit fly. A drosophila. And continue your own pace. We got 10 seconds left. Good. Take a seat now. This time we're going to stay down. <laughs> Lift the feet off the ground. For the first round, it's a static boat, so extend the legs. The cup's right in front of you. Ooh. Trying to prevent the spill. It's going to spill right in your lap. Heels off the ground. Tailbone balance, 30 seconds from me. It's hard to go water. Mm -hmm. Breathe, be steady. Five seconds, we move on. Three, two, one. I want you to stand up again. Try to do it with no hands. 
If you'd like, you may put a hand on the floor to help. Good, we're back to the squats for the deadlifts. But we're gonna change the game a little bit. First, we tap the floor. Then we tap the top of the knee. Oh, tap the floor, tap the top of the other knee. And this is gonna encourage us to stay low and not fully extend, which means, of course, more continuous time under tension. And I can already feel that difference. I feel the water running down my leg. <laughs> it's a coolant. Very cool. Very cool. Oh, wow. That partial range is uh, taxing. <sighs> my legs. Three, two, one. Now we're up. Back to the get ups. Take a full sit. Figure out the way you want to get it done. Put the booty on the floor, both cheeks. Get a kiss. Take that ass up. If you have a sided method of sitting, like we both do, one of those lunges, try to alternate sides. You don't have to, but it would be nice if you can add that to your list of things to focus on. We do a lot of fun get ups here at Nomad in the gym, but rarely do we have to stay stable and slow. A lot of the methods I see are kind of fast and haphazard. This is a fun way to force us to control every portion of it. Good, okay, stay down. Jump back into that boat. We're going to add the first variation on that boat. So while we're here balanced, I'm going to tap the chin. I'm going to straighten the arms all the way, straight elbows. Boom. Once I hit the straighten elbows, come back in and tap that chin. And do whatever you have to do with the lower body to serve this. If you can handle it, keep the knees straight. If the balance or the torque is getting a lot on your abs, you can bend the knees a little. It's all great. And I'm sweating. Yeah. But it's going to be hard to tell what's sweat and what's spill because I'm spilling all over the damn place. It's a little on up, man. This area already. <laughs> wetting the pants, if you will. I'm wetting the pants. <laughs> Oh, there's a sit. Good. Ideally hands free, stand back up. Oh. Okay, back to our floor, and then the knee tap. Floor tap. Knee tap. Oh. Le fleur. Le cap. Gucci man. Le fleur. Shakira, hips, no cap. The great philosopher. Shakara. That's a Colombian. Is she Colombian? I don't know. Like the beans that we're sipping on? The best coffee. Full circle. Ten seconds. Somebody in the comments, where is Shakira from? So we can properly cite her philosophy. Good. Now we do the get ups, and here's the first get up variation. We're tapping the back of the head on the ground. Wherever the cup's got to go to serve it. Tap the head to the floor. We're up. And any variation thereof, you can stick with. This one's a little out of your uh, desire today. No worries, stick to the regular sit. Oh, nice. The spill though.
Continue with the get ups. Five seconds left, and we'll stay seated. Good, we're on the boat. You can continue the straightening, rowing, or just the straight arms, or you can move on to the figure eights. Scissor the legs, move them out of the way, so you can minimize the cup motion in space. Yeah, I feel it's, it's one of the most well-known morsels of wisdom of our great generation. Uh, that the hips are the most honest of joints, and that's attributed only to Shakira. tap the floor, we tap the knees. Try to speed your pace. Find the fastest you can handle with minimal spill. Put it in my cup, I filled it up. Nice! It's a small amount. Oh, five seconds. Come on now. Stick with it. Good. Yet another get up variation if you so choose. Take a seat, and we're going to assume the boat. Stand up. So the bottom position has two cheeks down and two heels up. Figure eight variation if you'd like. Now we're going to try and do that with straight knees. Figure eight straight knees is the new variation that you can optionally hit. In <laughs> sweat and water. It's water. Proceed. Accumulating some good fatigue while we're distracted with the task. Let's get up. Tap the floor, tap the knees. Let's get them. Find a speed that you can sustain. Resist that urge to stand up all the way. That would, of course, relieve the tension. We want to keep the 
tension. It's like a good suspense movie. Oh. tap the head on the floor. We come back up to the boat and we stare. Sit. Boat. Whoa. Tap the head. Back up. And stare. Or any of the previous variations. It's all fair game. Try to make a circle around both legs. So no more figure eights. We don't go through anymore. We go over and under. Whatever you gotta do with the legs to serve that, but the straight variation may have a little more difficulty for you if that's what you're searching for. these boat circles. Brother. It's a loop, brother. It's a loops. Oh, no. <laughs> There's a moment where it's blinded in there. That's where we're prone to spilling. Spill prone. Title one. Good. Stand up. Hands free. Tap the floor. Tap the knee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get it. Got it. Bust it. Baby. Good. Time for the get-ups. If you want another variation, we're going to do it with the heels together. Instead of doing a split squat, we'll try to do a deck squat variation. This might be a little funky. Ooh. Whoa. Still boat. Tap the back of the head. And I have no idea how we're going to get back up. Oh. Um. Whoa. Just barely. Only if it's in your uh, desired exploratory set. Today there's a spill. I'm finding some good momentum out of the boat to get that deck squat prepared. Sounds like we just got some mail. Mail's here. Oh. Good. Under the boat. And that final variation, the circles. That's the one we're going to stick with now. Unless you want one of the previous ones, the figure eights, the static hold, or the rowing. 
to straighten the arms and pulling the arms back. Any of those variations are fair game. And if you already worked in the circles, maybe you can do it with straighter knees this time. Pick your poison and drink it. Poison. It's quite a reach. Oh, my God. shaking. Five, four, three, two. Stand up. <laughs> tap the floor, tap the knee. Get him. Hit it. We got pools. Quite a different uh, experience if you're doing the squat style versus the deadlift style versus some hybrid. Uh, but with any choice, don't fully extend. Don't stand up all the way straight. Stay in the bend. Continuous time with tension. Get those knee taps. Mm. <laughs> I sat down way too fast. Time for that bolt variation. <laughs> Adam is sitting in full puddle. <laughs> Choose your bolt variation. Maybe mix them up. Circles, figure eights, straight legs, bent legs. Oh my God. What do you do? Oh, this is sweaty warm. <laughs> Could be yarn. Oh, <sighs> Goodness gracious, 20 seconds before we're back up to the squats. Oh, 
creations. Activity. Oh, cheers. 22 minutes of fun. I think, you, I think you won. Well, with the spill them out? Yeah. Let's take a quick survey. Oh, I think you did. Great Watch job. I was rolling everybody. around in it. Very good job. <laughs> that, was, that, was, that, that was me. <laughs> oh. <sighs> I'm sweaty too. <laughs> Y'all agree? Woo! Oh, yeah, that's none of that's spilling. That's all. Oh. Uh, where uh, people are saying that their setup looks like yours. Yeah. <laughs> Great job. Great job, people. All right, we do have a finisher. It is a spill-prone finisher. And this one, um, like all things, it's up to you. It's your choice. It's optional. Uh, be willing to spill on your head. Done that already. OK. <laughs> if you're not willing to do that, just do what we do without the cup. You know, it's all gravy. Or by spilling. Moist. Oh, did, yeah, none of that spill. That's all sweaty. And you guys know I sweat a lot, so maybe it's not the most profusely accurate read. Bree said she had to get out a towel. <laughs> yep. Okay. Hmm. Is a minute and four enough? Yeah, I think so. Okay, so same loop timer. We will put the cup directly overhead with straight elbows. Well, straight-ish, okay? As long as you're here somewhere, it's good. It doesn't have to be locked, but overhead and as reached up as possible. And, of course, we're on one leg. And when the bell rings, we'll switch legs. And then we'll determine, do we feel tired enough to stop it there, or do we want to get a second round? Who knows? Only time will tell. Let's do it. I put a 10 second warm up because it's going to take me some time to get this thing overhead and assume a one legged stance. You know, with the one legged stance, the best thing to do is stare at a spot in front of you that's not moving. So, Nassim says right off the bat, two rounds. Okay. All right. Mike agrees. Two it is. The people spoke, my friends. Two rounds. So left, right, left, right. Or start on your less, your less adept side, your weaker, less coordinated side. Mine is the left. Maybe you can join me. All right. Ain't nothing to it but to do it at this point. So essentially four minutes left, four and some change. Actually four minutes and 16 seconds with a four-minute warm-up. Four minutes and 20 seconds, 420, baby. Yeet. Okay. Can we see everything? Dump it down just a little bit. So you can see our reflection in our water pools. <laughs> okay, let's do it. In 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three. Game on. One leg and put that cup overhead. Keep yourself honest. So when it spills, it spills on you. So we should have the cup overhead for the full four and a half minutes, for the full 420. Try not to drop your arms when we switch legs, so it's going to be a long shoulder endurance exploration. I would imagine if you're not doing it and you're just watching, this is incredibly boring. <laughs> <laughs> 10 seconds. Who's this nomad guy? He just stands there. Yeah, what? What's it's like that guy who posted, like, he would post videos of himself looking at a camera. Switch. Like, looking at a camera for, like, hours at a time without moving, and you do it daily. What? Yeah. Did it go viral? Obviously. I think. Oh, 
Oh, goodness. See, we have a little bit of cheating with a mirror in front of us. We can see like if the cup is upright. Shoulders are starting to get tired. Yes. For sure. If you're with okay, us. Okay, just two more rounds. Yeah. Fuck. Two more stands. Be cool. We got it. It's a very cool world. Stay cool, we go. If you want to get to pop in your shoulders, who holds cap about the head? And you know, if you're heating up and you need to cool down, just shake a little, <laughs> make a shower. How about that? It's built in. And three, two, one. Oh, and what? After all that speech about starting on the weak side, I started on my strong side. Which is probably good because that means my shoulders are going to be the most fatigued when I hit my weak legs. So this the greatest is, challenge will be there. This, this is, is round three, right? Yeah. Okay. This is great practice if you ever wanted to be a human bird bath. <laughs> Because you need to remain still. So the not birds. to scare away the burps. Exactly. Oh, shoulders. Oh. oh. Yep. Them shoulders, though. And when I think about it, I start losing the focus on my balance. Uh-huh. It's all over the place. I love it. It's great. Coming up on the final round. Stay committed. Try not to drop a heavy ceramic thing in your dome. If you gotta fail, make a plan for it. And here we go, switch. Final minute and four seconds. Down shoulders, knees and toes. Forty-five. Stay with us. Oh, final 30 seconds, game on, reach up higher, balance with a little more focus, we got 20, oh, shoot, So I guess that's proof of the, of the trend we've been mentioning on a lot of these sessions, that the failures are bound to happen in the final leg of the journey. <laughs> so I saw that there was only 10 seconds left. I got excited. My focus went to the finish line instead of the task at hand. <laughs> and I just got a shower with coffee, wash, water. Wonderful. Where is Shakir from? Somebody tell us, please. Somebody with a Google box. A Google box. You got a Google box? Look at him in an old Google box there. <laughs> Consult the old googly woogly. The great philosopher. Nobody? Nobody? Anybody? Yeah, Brie. <laughs> Bree clearly knows how I operate. <laughs> They're saying, when we said two, we didn't know there was going to be no shoulder rest. <laughs> and then Bree says, Hunter probably didn't know either. <laughs> Fuck it. You guys know us. <laughs> Always on the fly. Shooting from the hip, as they say. You need an answer, people. Columbia. Hey! There we go. You were right. Thank you, Bree. Thank you for uh, Barranquilla. How did I say that? Pretty. Is that okay? Just slaughter. Anyway, uh, shout out to Shakira for giving us that great wisdom nugget. Really, something to live your life by, you know. And um, 
If you're in a predicament, you're racking your brain. Just uh, keep your eyes on the prize. You know, remember the that great philosophy that the hips don't lie. Consult the hips, and the right answer will come to you. Okay. Put that together. The power of how to interact with grandma's wallpaper. That's a bond. That's it, guys. Uh, it's a uh, North Star, as it were, an Ursa Minor. So thanks, Shakira. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Adam, for coming, hanging out with us. Uh, and stay strong. Stay kind. Respect each other. Everybody's got different interests and beliefs. Um, and that's okay. All right. Even if they don't match yours. Understanding, kindness, respect. They'll show us the route to a lot of good outcomes. Maybe not everything, but a lot of good stuff. All right. And I'm sending my love to everybody out there in these crazy times. Um, you know, the, the people whose lives you touch directly, just bring the goodness that you can. And that shit will add up. And the sum will be uh, hopefully some betterment. All right. It's going to take time, a lot of effort, <sighs> diligence. Oh, and the other thing, we were talking about this this morning, you know, uh, when we spoke about this, like the first week of, of stay at home, and that's conflict, challenge, whatever you want to call this stuff, um, crisis, chaos, it, it sort of reveals character, it can amplify character. So, um, you know, I talk to a lot of different people from a lot of different walks of life on a daily basis. I have the pleasure to do that. It's, it's very enriching and I learn a lot from everybody. Uh, but to see the widely varying reactions to things, to the stuff that we're all stressed by, um, I, I, it's my human nature to just judge people right off the bat. And I got to slow down and understand that this time of difficulty, it's like a pressure cooker, right? And any little spark can really amplify some of our individual tendencies. I've had to check myself quite a bit uh, for my own behavior, but also check my judgment tendencies for others. Um, you know, as simple as like, when you're bumping shoulders with somebody at the grocery store and they might give you a look or say something just understand we all have different beliefs and ways and um, while ideally we all steer towards more enlightened love and kindness based beliefs together uh understand not everybody's on the same page with you and um it's tough man it's tough it's tough. So one, I guess, you know, it's not the only answer, but one tool is just to show respect, right? And maybe if the other person doesn't have the view that you have, uh, they may be touched by your kindness and respect in the face of opposition. And that might help same change some minds. Who knows? Who knows, everybody? I'm not the authority. I'm just a fucking trainer. But we learn from each other, all right? So thanks for teaching me, uh, sending you guys love, all right? Be safe, be kind, love your friends and family, okay? Later.